I've fallen and I can't get up. Everybody jokes about, I've fallen and I can't get up, but it real, realistically, it is a serious problem. I was surprised just what an important issue falling is. A very, very big issue. Like with so many things, education is the key. Education, education, 40%, studies show that 40% of people who fall in homes do not return home um, and they do not live independently there on after. 25% of those people that fall within one year usually will die. The numbers are the same for both men and women. For senior citizens over 80, they are scary statistics. What happens to the 40% that can't go back home? But some people can go to rehab and they, they may do well, but still again may not be able to be transferred back to the home setting with independent. Everything kind of goes together and then you have such an event as a hip fracture and then you're hospitalized and then surgery. Uh, it, it can change the whole uh, quality of life for a, a person. Fall risk can be things you might not even think of. Some people think that a walker will be uh, a help. It's not always as helpful. You have to make sure you're using the equipment properly, uh, being aware of oxygen tubing that you're not falling over. Something as simple as a pet can be a fall risk. Prevention can mean taking some simple steps to make a home safer. Adequate lighting, furniture arranged to allow free movement, stairways, hallways, and exits clear of clutter and loose objects. Throw rugs removed are fastened to the floor or have non-skid backs. Steps have sturdy handrails or banisters. All electrical cords are free from fraying or cracking. A non-skid surface or mat on the bathtub or shower floor. Keep in mind those simple steps and you could keep a simple trip and fall from being a potentially life-threatening event. With the Dolphin County Bubble Newsroom in Harrisburg, I'm Kurt Clyatt, CBS 21 News.